Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's all wonderful and fantastic. It is great here because I got a box from Poland and I know what's in here and I'm super excited about it and I waited the whole day to record this video because I wanted to have this. I knew it was coming and I was going to open it on camera so we could talk about it. So yeah, I was, it was supposed to come yesterday. But it did not, uh, and that's why yesterday's video was kind of, um, you know, quickly put together about Charles's um, print and play stuff. So, uh, there is a game in here, and well, there is kind of a game in here. I think is more to the point, and I think that <clears throat> I hope that some of you will be as interested in this game as I am. There's a lot of First off, this is the first package I received from Poland that is not wrapped in a garbage bag and taped. So they must be getting better about not letting their packages float down the river or something. I don't know why they always tape them. Um, this is a pre-production copy of Eleven, uh, the new or big release for Essen this year. The football manager board game. This is something I've been waiting of, to receive for years. Um, Ignasi told me about this game a few years ago. He said, I've got this really amazing football game, management game. Uh, and he, he got me really excited for it because I don't know if you know this, but I'm a huge uh, soccer fan. My child has played soccer her whole life. Uh, and I played soccer when I was a teenager, and I watch it. Well, I used to watch a lot of soccer. I don't get to watch soccer so much anymore because I don't have cable. But I am a very, very, very big football soccer fan. And so when I found out about this game, I got really super excited. And I really wanted to uh, play it the moment I heard about it, but he told me it wasn't ready. It needed a few tweaks. From what I understand, this game is... Uh, based on a, a game that was published by the designer, uh, Thomas Jansen, a few years ago called Club Stories. And I think that was a solitaire game in which you managed a soccer club. Uh, this is loosely based on that. So here it is, and I finally get to try it. Uh, this is not a, a production copy of the game. This is a, like, kind of almost a print and play level copy of the game and it's really only got enough components in here to play two player and from what I understand one of the reasons I was excited to talk about this is because this game is not ready uh, what I have in this box is not what's going to be on game found when the campaign launches next month <laughs> uh, Ignacy did a video about it the other day and I'm gonna link to it because I really hope you'll go watch it it, it really hits my heart because it's something that I have done, but he's basically pushing this to the, you know, to the last limit. Like, the, if I know him, he'll be making changes to the rulebook the night before the campaign goes live, and we'll have to launch the rulebook, you know, the next morning. That's just how he is. He won't stop. But, you know, the way he explained it on his video was that the components that are in this box were ordered like six weeks ago and the game has gone under significant revisions in the last six weeks he's still tweaking the design uh, i did find out from him today i think on twitter that he's or maybe it was in our discord that he's very happy with where the game sits right now he feels confident in it uh in it and it's it's not going to be in a huge state of flux but what's in this box is not what you're going to see on GameFound. and so he was really nervous about it because he said i'm sending out incomplete games to reviewers to review before uh, the game launches on GameFound, and the game that I'm sending them is not the game that's going to be on GameFound. And <laughs> as a as a wannabe designer myself, uh, too many times have I ordered components and then discovered that what I ordered is not uh, usable, and I have to start over and reorder. And uh, it just kind of hit home when he talked about it. 
but I will put a link to the game found page down below. I hope that if you uh, like strategy games, you'll check it out. Yes, this is called Eleven the Football Manager board game, and it does have a football manager theme, but at its heart, it's really an economics game. It's really you, you know you're you're hiring players, you're paying staff, you're paying you know upkeep fees. And then at the end of the round, there is a little football match that you, you can kind of strategically place your players out. And then it's a card-driven football match. But, but the heart of the game is a, just an economic. It's an economic engine game, right? It's, it's not unlike, say, pret a -Porter, maybe. It's, it's lighter than pret a -Porter, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't played it yet, obviously. Uh but I, I think that in this, it, the same kind of vein, right? It's, it is an economic game. It just happens to be about soccer. So I'm stupid excited about it, and I'm definitely going to be playing it this weekend. I, it, it does have a solitaire still, so that's carried over from Club Stories. I'm super excited about that. I've been playing Ares Project, um, or Ares Expedition Solitaire, and been enjoying that. And I've been playing Charles's game Solitaire, and I really hadn't played a lot of Solitaire before. So I'm excited to give Solitaire a shot in this. From what I understand, the components in here are enough for two people. So I might get M to play it with me. If I can figure it out enough to teach my youngest to play soccer, I might try to get her to play it with me. But I'm very, very excited about this. And I hope that uh, you'll give it a look, you know, even if you're not a football fan. Uh, football fan. Like, the, the correct version of football. The football where they use feet and not hands. Not hand egg. Football. This is football, the real, the real thing. And it just so happens that I didn't really mean to put this shirt on today, but I guess, sure, it works. Um, so, I will report back, obviously, once I've played it, once I've tested it, I will give a, a walkthrough of how the game works, and I will do a little bit more of an in-depth look. I don't want to show anything yet, because it's not ready to be shown. We'll get there. Check out the links. Thank you for being here, as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. Are you going to play games this weekend? Do you have any uh, plans? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you Monday. Today's word you should know to sound smart is hellacious. It is an adjective meaning extremely brutal, violent, and severe. Madison's foray into the corporate world was so hellacious that she quickly went back to being supported solely by her trust fund. Hellacious. H-E-L-L-A-C-I-O-U-S. Who wants... I mean... You know, if you have a trust fund, why, why not? And uh, my dad used hellacious a lot when I was a kid. And I don't know that I've ever met anybody else who's used that word.